Okay, so I'm going to look at example, the first example here, and this is um, on slide 12 of the PowerPoint, okay? Um, so these, this used to be a mandatory experiment, but uh, cobalt chloride is carcinogenic, so it's off the course. But you still need to obviously understand the idea behind it. Now, I just have my stresses uh, kind of sheet in the background here. So firstly here, if I look at adding concentrated HCl, the ion that that's going to affect is the Cl minus ion. So that's the first thing to realize is that I'm increasing my Cl minus ion concentration. Okay. Again, according to Le Chatelier's principle, and I probably won't write this for all of them, okay, but my system is going to readjust. And if I go to my rule for concentration, if I increase on one side, the equilibrium shifts to the opposite side. I'm increasing my concentration on the right-hand side, so that means equilibrium shifts left. And it's important here, since I'm given the colors, you might be asked, um, does this increase or decrease the amount of reactant or product? Or you might be asked, give the color. So make sure you do do that, because otherwise you will lose out on marks. So what we see then, because the equilibrium is shifting to the left, I have a blue color. Next then, I add water. Okay, so if I add water, I'm increasing the concentration of the H2O. Okay, so again, when I'm increasing that concentration, according to Le Chatelier's principle, for concentration, remember, my equilibrium, when I increase, always shifts to the opposite side. So here, I'm increasing the concentration of my uh, water on my left-hand side, so I'm shifting to the opposite side. So equilibrium is going to shift right, and that gives a dark red color. Now, you could also be asked, how could you reverse this so that the blue color is, and I could just as easily uh, remove water, okay? Remember, if I remove water, my equilibrium, when concentration decreases, shifts to the same side, okay? So if I'm removing the water in my left-hand side, the equilibrium is going to shift to the left-hand side. The final thing then is uh, in hot water. So this is the final example. And remember in hot water, I'm increasing the temperature. Now, it's important here that I am aware that this forward reaction I'm told in the question is exothermic, okay? So if I increase the temperature, I want to favor the side which absorbs or takes in heat. An increase in temperature always favors the endothermic side. And in this case, because my forward reaction is exothermic, my backward reaction must be endothermic. So my equilibrium shifts left. And you always have to write the direction it shifts to. And in this case, that means a blue color.